a fresh dose of tech news and insight. This is breaking news on Eagle Eyes on Tech. The community guidelines have changed once again. It is Tuesday, October 8th, 2024. This is Eagle Eyes on Tech. I'm Eagle Falcon. Twitch has updated the community guidelines again. This is in response to what they said at TwitchCon, how they need to make everything clearer. And I feel like we do this on the regular, talking about the Twitch community guidelines, but it's almost comical at this point, how many times we go over this and how many times you need to clarify things. And I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna blatantly say it. Um, I think they're gonna go ahead and do it again very, very soon, just because um, I think that whoever wrote this went too far. All right, let's get into this. Let's just get into the basics right away. All right, so the community guidelines, in fact, on Twitch, have, as I said, changed. For the most part, um, things are kind of being, uh, are being kept almost what you're, almost the same. The thing is that they wanna go ahead and have this all written down so that they can pin down exactly what you broke and pin down exactly which moment was the one that caused you to be banned. A thing that should have happened since the dawn of freaking time. But welcome to Twitch. They're moderation enforcement is awful but we deal with it so let's talk about things first things first self-destructive safety not allowed of course they go ahead and say specifically twitch does not allow, allow the content that glorifies promotes or encourages self-harm we also appreciate activity that i'm sorry we also prohibit appreciate what the heck prohibit activity that may endanger your life Lead to your, to your physical harm or encourage others to engage in physical, physically harmful behavior. This includes glorification approach to self harm. You know, if you want to go, if you're going ahead and say, saying, you know, oh, I'm so, so, man, killing yourself is great or something stupid like that, you know, that's dumb. Don't do that. Promotion of eating disorders or share, sharing of pro eating disorder content, such as your. Pro Anna, I have no idea what Pro Anna is. Or sharing your diet plan of not eating for three days, then binge binge eating on day four. This seems awfully specific. <laughs> this seems a little too specific. Is that what you want to tell us, Twitch? Sharing of graphic details, suicide notes, or suicide attempts. Use of hard, uh, use of hard drugs or substances not fit for human consumption, such as Tide Pods or bleach. This would also include things that are suitable for human consumption, but not in excessive amounts, like cinnamon, because I know they're gonna talk about that later. Misuse of legal substances, prescription drugs, or whippets. This, this one actually right here, the whippets, what is it called, like cosmic gas or something like that, is actually a big trend on TikTok right now. The abuse of um, compressed uh, nitrous oxide to go ahead and get get high like it's comical cutting or other forms of self injuries consumption cons consumption of alcohol or other substances that lead to being incapacitated so this one here is a little concerning so it's not saying excessive consumption of alcohol so the way they have written this just saying consumption of alcohol means that if i go ahead and just have like a martini on stream, that's not allowed the way they have written this. I'm sure if I went ahead and had just a fun cocktail on stream or, you know, a cat or having a beer or something, you know, casual like that, that that would be fine. But the way they have this written says that the consumption of alcohol or other substances that lead to being an incapacitated are not allowed. This seems to imply that you have to be 100% sober when streaming. I'm surprised that's not being talked about more, to be perfectly honest, because they wrote that very, very poorly, to say the least. Maybe they actually do mean that. Maybe, that do, maybe they do mean that, hey, no booze, period, bar none, hard line, end of story. 
Dangerous or distracted driving, including using a phone while driving or driving under the influence. Okay, I mean, I understand driving under the influence. Using a phone while driving, I mean, obviously don't show that. We got that one idiot kick, kick streamer who got himself banned by crashing his, uh, what was it, McLaren, I think? His McLaren, because he was uh, watching chat on his phone, not keeping his eyes on the road in a rainstorm. Idiot. I mean, I used to do uh, driving streams. Now I don't drive nearly as much. And on top of that, the software I used to use that tts every single text message so I never read anything is not around anymore. That's the main reason why I stopped. And also because, uh, well, certain districts now don't allow it, period. So, yeah. They then go on to say, if you feel like you're struggling, know someone who might be, yada, 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 call your local law enforcement, call the suicide helpline. We have resources here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And they go into some other examples. And this is some ones that, uh, whoo, this was a big thing back in the day. Selling activities which may cause harm for monetary gain, such as subscription, bits, tips, is not allowed. Taking shots of alcohol for subs or doing the cinnamon challenge for a set amount of bits. You cannot do this anymore. Now, like, I never did the cinnamon challenge. The, the cinnamon challenge is a very, very easy way to absolutely mess you up. You, you can't eat a, a spoonful of cinnamon. You just can't. Shots of alcohol for subs. I used to do that. Like, way back in the day, I would do that for St. Patrick's Day. Not allowed anymore. But the drinking goal streams are... Al drinking goal... I'm sorry, drinking goal streams are allowed provided the drink that takes place is not excessive and would not reasonably be expected to cause harm. Allowed examples, I will open this, bo this bottle of Prosecco at 100 subs or drinking stream when I hit 50, 50 new subs tonight. Prohibitive examples, I will down this bottle of vodka for 300 subscribers or I will take a shot every 100 bits. So they do clarify that. They do say you can go ahead and enjoy a casual drink. They, all right, let me actually rephrase that. They imply you can go ahead and have a casual drink. They imply it with drinking stream when I hit 500 new subs tonight. Keep in mind though, they still say up here consumption of alcohol or other substances that lead to being incapacitated. So already we're one thing in and we already have a good reason why this is going to end up just being, well, probably revised. Violence and threats. Violence on Twitch is taken seriously and is considered a zero tolerance violation. All accounts associated with such activities on Twitch will be indefinitely suspended. So let's go ahead and look at what they consider violence. They consider it attempts, uh, attempts or threats to physically harm or kill others so i think you need to make this more clear because there's still like a whole uh because there's still you know a joking mentality there but i kind of get why they have to go and put a strong line do they have a thing if you go ahead and say in minecraft you're fine it doesn't look like it attempts or threats to physically harm or kill each other attempts to hack dox ddos or swat others use of weapons to threaten in intimidate harm or kill others or encouraging other participants to act participate in acts that may harm others violence not allowed not too surprising but it is what it is terrorism or violent extremism shocker yeah i mean do we really need to go over the details displaying or linking terrorist or extremist propaganda including graphic pictures or footage of terrorist extremist violence for the purpose of even for the purpose of denouncing such content see this even for the purpose of denouncing such content you idiots on twitch that go ahead and stream and try to that stream specifically to be a political streamer you cannot do this period i can't wait to find out that there's people who broke that uh, sexual violence is not tolerated on twitch no this includes non-consensual sex sexual acts, coercing a guest into committing sex acts by threatening them, touching another person in an intimate manner without their consent. I mean, this one's going to be hilarious later 
because I'm pretty sure they say later on you can't touch another person in infinite matter with their consent on stream. So this is just, you know, consent good. Youth safety. Twitch prohibits any content or activity that endangers youth. This includes content that features or promotes child sexual abuse material or CSAM. This is an acronym that's been showing up a lot more lately. But anyway. And, and the sexual exploitation, sexual misconduct, or grooming of youth. I can summarize this whole section. Don't children. I'm still going to go through it anyway, just because I think there is one piece that is interesting here. Nothing of... All right, here we go. This is the one I thought I thought was in here. Some enforcement notes. Depicting fictional anime characters of childlike appearance, this means lolis and shadas, with any kind of sexual framing is not allowed. This applies to VTubers and within games where avatars are uploaded, such as VR chat with childlike avatars, even if the broadcaster and operator of the avatar is above the age of 18. Full stop. Ravioli, ravioli, do not loot the little loli. Period. End of story. Any humor regarding anything sexual in relation with minors will result in an immediate action on your account. Stating you are below the age of 13 anywhere on Twitch, even if it tend to be humorous, will result in your account being permanently deactivated in accordance with applicable laws. Another big point to point out. Stating you are below the age of 13 anywhere on Twitch, even if intended to be humorous, will result in your account being permanently deactivated in accordance with applicable laws. So even if you go go ahead and, uh, oh, that means the old meme of I'm 12 and what is this is not allowed on Twitch anymore. Oh, I'm old. Anyway, yeah, don't do it. Off service conduct. Twitch enforces against certain severe offensive that occur off Twitch when committed by members of the Twitch community. This would include deadly violence or violent extremism, terrorist activities, explicit or credible threats of mass violence, leadership, membership, or sponsorship of a known hate group, carrying out deliberately... All right, part of me... Part of me feels like you should go ahead and, and like, put more definition on the term known hate group. Because a lot of not hate groups are then just considered a not unknown hate group just because they're disliked like th this is a very broad term and i feel like for your own sake twitch you need to expand the definite of what you consider a known hate group because i can go ahead and define an entire political party as a known hate group and people of my political party would agree with that but that's silly anyway Carrying out or deliberate, deliberately acting as an accomplice to non consensual sexual activities, sexual exploitation of minor, actions that would directly or explicitly compromise the safety of, twi of the Twitch community, explicitly or explicit and or credible threats against Twitch, including Twitch staff, harmful misinformation, misinformation actors that are persistent information super spreaders. Wait, what does this mean? <laughs> This isn't an action. This is defining a, a, a person. Wait, hold up. Does this mean acting with someone who is a harmful misinformation actor that are persistent misinformation super spreaders? Does it mean being one? Does it mean talking about one? Because I've talked about Alex Jones of, on my podcast and saying that, yeah, no, this is insane. And the fact that people are believing this is insane. I've done that. Does that mean I'm banned? What, what does this mean? Doxing and swatting. That will go ahead and get action taken against you. User can contact Twitch off-service investigation teams to report cases, and they'll go from there. All right, unauthorized use of sharing private... Let me actually take a look at this. Is there anything of note in here? They do go ahead and, and say... No, one thing of note I do have to say, does the victim or accused have to be a Twitch community member? No, they do not. How does Twitch verify verify off officer's behavior? Leverages third party experts with limitations of, of acting off service. Twitch has established this policy primarily to protect the 
the safety of our users because of this persons who have carried out severe offensives such as crashing a car have created safety risks or pre from user service however in cases where these behaviors have occurred in the distance past users have undergone a trusted rehabilitation process such as legally mandated time served in a correctional facility and our investigation process determines that there is no evidence to suggest user would cause any clear or present danger to the community we may decline to take action against a user or we may unsuspend their account based on an appeal for those particularly egregious offenses that present a safety risk to the community these suspensions may not be eligible for appeal no matter how much time has passed why is twitch monitoring off, off content off twitch content that's actually pretty self-explanatory and you know, all right it, it's pretty you know pretty understandable stuff we're only halfway through this i've got to hurry up because i've got to get ready for work soon unauthorized sharing of private information you may not share personally identifiable information X, don't this falls under don't dox all right you may not take part in hateful conduct twitch does not permit the behavior that is motivated by hatred prejudice or intolerance including behavior that promotes or encourages discrimination d what is it discrimination harassment or violence based off the following protect following protected characteristics race ethnicity color test test national origin immigrant status religion sex gen, gender gender identity sexual orientation disability serious medical condition and veteran status goes for, provide protection for for age which are expressly noted in examples you know i i feel like this is all self-explanatory i'm gonna like glance through to see if there's anything that stands out as a what are you talking about and um you know to me this is pretty self-explanatory stuff spamming a chat entering a chat spamming a slur talking to an individual with a slur based yeah yeah yada no slurs yeah okay it's post upload or otherwise share hateful images or symbols including symbols of established hate groups or nazi related imagery streaming a confederate flag in the background that's actually important to go ahead and, st and state there wearing a t-shirt with it with the arrow cross or posting a swastika or ss bolts in the chat i mean these two are more more obvious this one may not i get why i actually know a couple who have seen it more as a symbol of southern pride rather than of you know a formerly existing nation that broke off to to continue having slaves but yeah not surprised but i'm glad they did include that so there is no <laughs> my, 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 my southern pride yeah i'm sorry no sorry not sorry no black brown yellow red f is, there, is there really people who yellow face really really i'm more disappointed than anything content that that uh perpetuates recognized negative stereotypes and yeah the rest is pretty much pretty self-explanatory yeah yada 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 yada, yada. Prot protected characteristic is a form of insanity I'm trying to think what that's, I'm trying to think what that, um, is referring to in any case. Yeah. Don't be racist. That's what this basically boils down to. Don't be racist. I cannot wait to find out that, uh, once again, yet another political streamer has broken the hateful conduct section. You know, it's going to happen. And they go ahead and even say, we consider context when enforcing self-depreciation terminology in a positive or joking way may be treated differently than terminology targeted at someone else. The N word with a hard R, a racial slur is never allowed, period. However, allowed, allowed examples though, speaking of experience where a slur was used against you or overheard. Okay, I'm glad they did include that. So you can describe a time where you were called a slur. That is allowed. Person now, I speak as someone who has never had anything that's actually considered a slur being shouted at me. But if it was me, I would avoid this entirely. We've actually got to wrap this up very quickly. We've been going 24 minutes. This is not. This is supposed to be one and done and out done. All right, we need to actually wrap wrap this up very very quickly. Harassment, engaging in harassment will result in enforcement of action taken against relevant accounts. You may not want to go ahead and engage in, well, we already kind of covered most of this anyway. 
sexual harassment, don't sexually harass. Remember how earlier we said it was kind of silly of non-consensual non -consensual sexual harassment was not okay? Look at that. It's back again. Sexual, sexual harassment, not allowed. You're not allowed to go ahead and stream breaking the law. You are not allowed to go ahead and break intellectual property rights. You know, that pre this pretty much has not changed. All right. Sensitive conduct, extreme, extreme violence, gore, or other obscene conduct. You know, same thing pretty much applies. We'll go into more detail on this on the actual Eagle Eyes on Tech this Sunday. But, you know, this is all pretty much same, same, expected by the books. All that sort of jazz. Sexual conduct, sexual content. Users are prohibited from broadcasting, uploading, or soliciting, promoting, offering any sort of porn, porn, pornographic content. This is the one, actually this, actually these next few ones are the ones that are really noticeable. Direct links that primarily provide sexual content are, n are not allowed, period. If any links to this content are found, such as links or aggregators are found, Twitch may apply sexual themes, content classification labels for a set amount of time. This means you people with uh, fanslies and uh, only fans and trying to push the boundaries of what you can do on Twitch. So to promote those things, you're going to be in going to be in hot water. For some reason, though, you are allowed to apply a condom to a banana for the purpose of, of education for some reason. However, you are not allowed to stretch your legs apart in view of the camera for exterior periods of time. However, artistic depictions of nudity are allowed in the context of public art, showing a nude statue in a, in a city square or streaming from a museum of an art history lecture. You may not stream drawing porn. If we're doing a yada, yada. The big thing that's getting everyone in a tizzy, we actually should just get to it, is this one right here. The attire. This is what's getting a ton of VTubers lately. The attire of policy applies to VTubers in the same way it applies to other streamers. Genitalia, buttocks, hips, and female presenting nipples and underbust mu must be covered at all times on general streams. These guidelines apply to VTuber models, but not video game characters, including those uploaded into games such as VR chat. This is stupid because you're acknowledging the ones uploaded to games such as VR chat. Well, I mean, first off, it's in the game, so you can't moderate everything that's in the game. But also you're acknowledging that VR that, you know, if I go ahead and have a risky outfit and I was actually attractive, my clothes could reveal something they shouldn't. A VTuber model cannot. Clothes do not slip off on a VTuber. You have to instead bump a toggle. They also want to go ahead and say hip coverage is often forgotten this rule. Please make sure your VTuber cover model covers this area. Festival and beachwear allows slightly more revealing clove within the relevant categories, allowing the showing of hips under bust, but genitalia female presenting nipples must be covered. Static or slightly animated work, artwork for scenes such as stream starting, be right back and stream ending artwork must follow our guidelines. If you are in a setting such as pool or hot tub or beach that may not be real, props do not require water within them for us to consider you in the correct content. You do not have to inflate a pool to be in the hot tub category. Your content still requires to be in the correct category and require any applicable content classifications. If you cannot functionally tell whether you are, are or not are clothed, you are implying that you are not clothed through methods such as skin tight, skin tone clothing, black, bur black bars blurring, hiding behind props, or being off screen. You may be at risk of enforcement for your attire and possibly our sexual content policies. That's kind of where we're going to stop the talk here because we've been going for a half hour on what was supposed to be a 10 minute in and out. This is the big thing, this attire thing. The fact that VTubers have to apply to this despite the fact they do have advantage that other people don't. And um, yeah, that's, uh, I'm not going to lie. That's kind, that's, that's BS. And here's what I'll have to say. All right, fine. I, of course, always comply with this. I, I have nothing to show. I have no problem complying with this. I understand why a lot of other people do, especially VTubers where a new set of clothes for them is hundreds of dollars. Whereas for me, 
clothes that that cover this are worth $35. I get that there's a difference there. But to go ahead and say that it's fine in VR chat, but not okay as a VTuber model, when in fact you can port VTuber models into VR chat under certain circumstances, is really, really, really silly. And here's the other thing. If this is gonna be the, the bar you set for VTubers, fine. But you better, Twitch, you better enforce this on the near infinite number of real life streamers that break these rules on the regular. That is my stance on this. I think this needs a look at. I think an understanding of the fact that, yeah, the clothing may be provocative, but if your excuse is the fact that this these clothes can slip and expose something, you know, that's one thing. But I mean, you if it's all in the case of trying to purify the platform, then you need equal enforcement. 100%. That's going to do it for me. Get out there and conquer the day.